Thank you for tuning in to the Shikama Live Show. I had promised this video and here it is. This is how we take control of our schools and not tolerate and put up with bad teaching and bad school administration. It's called parent trigger laws. Uh, the concept of a parent trigger policy gained national attention in January of 2010 when California, I'm, I'm amazed at this, pass the nation's first parent trigger law. The basic concept of the policy is that parents have the ability to intervene in their child's school if it is performing poorly. With enough signatures from parents, any number of actions can be taken against the low performing school. These can include converting it to a charter school, replacing some of the school's administration and faculty, and closing the school altogether. Some have also proposed offering affected students private school vouchers. Advocates argue that parents should have a more active role in their child's school is managed. They also claim that the traditional procedures for turning around low performance schools are too slow and heavily influenced by politic, political interests, not necessarily the student's interests. Supporters have Supporters hope that the existence of a parent trigger law will encourage schools and districts to better communicate existing school improvements to parents in hopes of avoiding a parent petition. Opponents claim that there are mechanisms already in place to intervene in low-performing schools. They point to school accountability committees and local school boards as the existing means for parents to be involved in operation of their schools children's school. They also worry that parents may not be aware of the changes low-performing low schools have already made, such as hiring new administration and teachers. Some raise concern that corporate charter school operators are using these laws to expand their business, an argument that some states look to address by prohibiting charter school operators from funding petition campaigns. As of March 2013, at least 25 states have considered parent trigger legislation and seven of them have, enact, have enacted some version of the law. The seven states are California, Connecticut, Indiana, Louisiana, Mississippi, Ohio, pilot program in Columbus School District, and Texas. While each state has taken a different approach, there are some common provisions that most states have included in their law. Most of the states include a process by which parents or of children attending a low-performance school can sign a petition that initiates an intervention in the operation of the school. Each state law also lists what intervention options are available to the parents. Most of the states describe the role of the state education agency in determining what happens to the school. And some states include an appeal process for the school district overseeing the targeted school. So there are 25 states already considering parent trigger laws. Seven of the states have already adopted them. If you are the parent of a young child, I would be very involved in this process and making sure that this process is on its way to becoming law in your state. I don't have a list of all 25 states. You would check, of course, with your state to see if there is parent trigger law legislation pending in your state capital. That aside, you still have a way, you still have an option, of course. You can, of course, then go to appeals courts and sue the school board, the administration, the faculty of a school. You have to do this because a lot of these schools, of course, are state-run, so you're, you have to sue the state. Uh, so you can only do that in uh, a regular court, I mean, appeals court and not the local civil civil court in such a in in so doing it would also be good if you got of course the same thing a whole bunch of parents to sign onto it and make it a class action lawsuit just because it happened to your child doesn't mean it hasn't happened a lot to other people or other parents children and some of the other parents might be poor and they just have no idea that they have this option or that they even have the ability to take the school to court 
uh, and sue them for a bad administration. Now, all of this, of course, is culminating, uh, stemming from my videos concerning the children who were suspended for making a finger gun or making a gun out of bread or making a gun out of paper or playing cowboys and Indians, cops and robbers, and then being suspended for that action. Or like the uh, kid who brought the water, the water gun to school for show and tell and was uh, arrested by the police. Now when that happens, you have a redress also. You can go to court, uh, of course you would go to the city council, mayor, then go to court and have the police department closed and have the police administrator, the chief of police, the uh, lieutenants and what the leadership and that police completely removed from police work. You have an option. You have a way to do this. You do not have to sit back and take this. And you don't have to say, well, I'm Rambo. I'm going to stand here and I'm going to shoot the police when they come. You, that is unnecessary. Not that you shouldn't do that. You know, if they you know, if they come to uh, threaten you, they are human beings. They're, they're not actual gods. I know they think that they're gods. They're not actual gods. Uh, if they come and do you harm in your house, on your property, you have every right to defend yourself. Nobody is saying that. However, you can completely remove them from being a police altogether. And then you have a situation like the, the, the policeman that shot the guy for texting uh, in the previews of a movie and killed him. You know, he's on, he's on murder trial, of course, right? You have options. I'm trying to prevent, uh, present you with those options. So you have the ability to remove faculty, administrators, or even shut down an entire school. You have the ability to remove policemen, their leaders, police chief, completely, or even shut down a police station. I, I, uh, I made another video and I indicated to you that they shut down the police station when it was found that several of the police were involved in some sh shady goings-ons and targeting the population and taking advantage of them, mostly poor people. You see, when you have a brain on your shoulders and you have some get up and go, you don't need to sit back and take it because your actions might be helping hundreds of other people, in including the poor, the uneducated, or the people who have been so downtrodden by police and school that they don't think that they have an option. I encourage you to take a stand, do something about it, uh, and, and we need to hold these people accountable and hold them to a much, much higher standard. They're no longer human. They're the law. They're the, their schools. They're teaching our children. They have to be held to a much, much higher standard than average, regular humans. They have to be perfect, and if they're not perfect, you pin them to the wall. You strip them of their authority and kick them out of that position. They do not need to hold that position. A lot of people say, well, you need to respect the No, you need to be perfect. You're the police, you need to be perfect. You need to adhere to the law. As teachers, you need to adhere to everything constitutional as well. As a teacher, you don't have an unfettered ability and authority to do stuff to children especially children. These children belong to parents and you as parents need to put their feet to the fire and make sure that they are perfect. And if not, you pin them to the wall, remove their authority, kick them out of that position. Zero tolerance, the schools have zero tolerance, police have zero tolerance, you as parents need to have zero tolerance as well. Zero tolerance for any level of incompetence, no matter how minute. Zero tolerance, that's what it means. Stick, stick them to the wall, remove them from the position. Thank you for choosing to watch the Shikama Live Show. Please share my video, it helps the channel grow. Just click the share button below and click, uh, share it on Facebook, Twitter, or what have you. Thank you so much for that. I have seen people actually sharing my video before I even have a chance to share it on my Twitter. So I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.